day 33 of flower here. Here is how everybody is looking. James doing really well, I think. Um, here is this weird situation. The bud seems to be actually developing on the inside of that leaf, so that's kind of cool. Um, Jim just not doing good. Um, also, last night I did some more trimming and I took two more cuttings. Um, this guy is like, has a flower on it, so I think it's going to re-veg, I hope. And this one, I actually trimmed all the leaves off of it before I decided I'm going to cut the whole thing. So, I'm not sure that's possible for that thing to take. Maybe some leaves will shoot out of that node. <clears throat> we'll see. But this time I'm definitely keeping this hood on it, this cover, so that um, it stays humid. One other thing I did want to add, um, I am at basically coming up on the end of week five. So if the seed seller is to be believed, there's three weeks left, uh, but I think there's more just based on how these look and compared to what I've seen on the internet. So I'm thinking four, maybe five weeks. Um, and the humidity is just getting worse and worse. The, if this door is closed, I'm at um, 90, mid 90s. So I need to come up with a way to vent. I'm having a few thoughts. Um, one extreme option is just punch a hole through the wall and then patch it when I leave. I'm not too pumped about that. So another thought is, um, so I got this extraction fan. Um, basically take some flexible ducting all the way down here and like fold it so that it just goes right under the door. Uh, also not really sure how realistic that idea is, but it's, a, it's an idea. Um, another thought I've had is basically ignore the door, leave it open virtually permanently, buy some like blackout curtain or something, attach it all along here, and then um, in the blackout curtain, I can cut a hole right there. So those are my current thoughts. Day 34 here, and um, I am going to attempt super crop practice number two. Um, so as you probably remember, this is the result of my previous one. Um, focus. It uh, stayed alive, um, but it straightened itself totally out, and I definitely split it. Uh, so I, I posted online, uh, got some feedback, and apparently this there's like a rolling technique you're supposed to do, uh, pinch and roll somehow. So I'm going to try that, and I'm also going to try it on a thicker branch just to see the limits of what is possible. I'm going to do it on Jim here because who really cares about Jim at this point. Um, and I'm going to do this branch because it's pretty thick. It's really short, um, but it's been alive for a while. It's one of, it's actually the lowest node. Um, so I will show you the progress on that, keep you guys updated.
use this um, wire here to hold it in place. I think a vertical spool like that is less bad because nutrients can still run up either side of it. So this would be interesting. Um, that was a lot thicker than the other one and we will see how it develops. I expect this to turn up pretty soon. I uh, will keep you guys updated on the progress. Day 35 give you an update on super crop attempt number two. It's not looking that good. I mean, it's not dead, and the front part turned up very quickly. But, plug this here. Later, tune in there. But hopefully, we'll survive. Here is James. Flowers are starting to get decently thick. The, um, the stretch definitely stopped. Day 35, and I am about to start some renovations. So today I'm gonna um, clean up that, the uh, reservoir, and while I have the plant out, I'm also going to install um, a light curtain here. And what I did was ordered these from Amazon, which are blackout curtains. I got two of them for I don't remember, $20 maybe, something like that. I'll put a link. And I'm gonna basically just attach it all along here. And I'm fold it in half. Um, put one one this way and one that way, so I, I kind of have a, an area in the middle to open and close. And then I am going to take this uh, extraction fan and vent it through here. I'm gonna cut a hole in this. I'm also gonna cut a hole and put this stuff, which is um, just charcoal filter. I think it's charcoal, or I don't know. But basically it's an air filter that light can't really pass through. Um, so I'm gonna use this to duct out the fan, and then the return will be that. And I think I'm gonna cut a hole and sew it in maybe, or I'm gonna do some experimentation, see best way to attach those two things into this. Um, so I will update you guys with progress as I do it. get all this stuff out of here and spray it, spray it down. All clean. All right, now I need to figure out how to staple this blackout curtain in here. I'm also gonna move this vent over to this side um, so that it would be easier for me to basically duck the air like right to here. That way, if need be, I can like kind of keep the door closed a little bit. 
Got a few staples up in there. Uh, I might do a few more because I really don't want this to fall. That would be pretty bad. And then I'm gonna staple at least part way down the side too. Just to get a good seal here. Oh shit, yep. See those staples are just coming out. So I gotta put more in. All right, all attached. A few staples, not very many, along that, that wall. But the door should theoretically still close. Nice. So I uh, just did a pretty crappy job sewing that. Um, but I'm gonna do at least one more uh, sew. And hopefully that'll be enough. I might also maybe take some duct tape and just wrap it along in here. Um, but that's what we're looking at now. All right, this is what it looks like. Not pretty by any stretch, but hopefully stable enough. Um, I'm gonna hang it. So uh, I think out of laziness, I've decided to not use this just yet at least and see if um, there's just enough natural uh, inflow current like through the fabric or through whatever um, and if that's not the case I will cut a hole put this in so both of them are stapled um, I got some magnet tape that I might um, do a few different lines along here to help seal that. All right, I am gonna load the nutrients in. And if you watched my last video, you saw that I'm using the Scentsy Bloom, and so this is the part A, and that they recommend four milliliters per liter. That ended up being way too much. Um, and I ended up having to take some out and then add in some water and dilute until I got to a good uh, value. Um, but this time, I am just gonna add in until I get to 1.8 EC. So I will show you that. place day 36 I wanted to show you that I did end up installing those magnets and they seem to be working out pretty nicely <clears throat> let's pop on in here so this is the girls today let's take a look down here at the super crop attempt Beautiful. Um, the tip is still alive. Here are the buds. It's starting to look really frosty. The stretch has definitely stopped, which is nice. So, anywhere from three to five weeks is what we're looking at to finish these guys off.
Flower, day 38. online and it's possibly heat stress so I don't know any feedback would be appreciated so this is like mid week six and the seed seller said possibly eight weeks so we'll see about that um, they're drinking so fast give you an update here. So, that's what the roots look like. Still a little yellow, but haven't really changed. Super crop. It's alive, but brown. Day 41. Let's take a look at the uh, super crop. So, hasn't really got worse. The tip is, oops, the tip is still alive, tilted up. Here is buds on James. But overall, the humidity has been absolutely under control. The fan allows me to basically keep this closet at whatever my ambient humidity is. I switched on a, or I wrote a little automation in Home Assistant to turn the fan. So you can see I plugged it into that smart switch there to turn the fan on and off to keep the humidity right around 45, which is what I read online is a decent uh, value. All right, that's the update for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Cheers.